Hello everyone, my name is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in my today's video, I'll talk about the latest diffusion model, which is Desi Diffusion 1.0. So this model is released by Desi and this is a text to image generation model. And this Desi Diffusion model have 820 million parameters. So guys, if you compare this Desi Diffusion model with Stable Diffusion version 1.5 model, you will notice that Desi Diffusion model have 820 million parameters and Stable Diffusion model have 860 million parameters. But still, this Desi Diffusion does just as well as the Stable Diffusion version 1.5 model, but it also takes 40% less time to do it. So guys, in my today's video, I'll show you uh, how to use this Desi Diffusion model on Hugging Face Face if you want to use it. And if you want to try this uh, Desi Diffusion model on your local machines, then that also I'm going to show you how to use it. Okay. So, but before moving to that part, let's talk about the data set which Desi uh, have used to uh, make the, the, this Desi Diffusion model. Desi Diffusion was trained on a subset of Leon data set and fine tuned on the Leon art data set. Okay. So, this Leon data set is in the form of image text pairs. Okay. So, guys, now let's see how to test this Desi Diffusion model. So, for that, I am opening this link okay here you can test the DC diffusion model I have shared this link in my description section you can just click on it and you can try this model so we'll provide the different prompts over here and we'll click on generate and here you will see the output so let's try it so the first prompt I want to use is okay let's 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 try let's try this prompt okay and click on generate here you can see the processing time also and you can see the output so our prompt was imagine a serene sunset over a tranquil mountain lake with the water reflecting the orange and pink hues of the sky and you can see we are getting the generated images as we have defined the prompt okay so now let's try the another example so this time i want to give this prompt make a pretty picture of an indian village with straw roof houses and lots of green fields so here you can see we have our image lots of fields we are having the roofs with the straws okay so let's try it for one more example let's try it for this create a colorful image capturing the spirit of the holy festival with people throwing vibrant pow powdered colors so So yeah, you can see we have the output image. Okay. So guys, if you don't have GPU, then you can try this DC diffusion model over here. But if you want to try your uh, try this DC diffusion model on your local machines, then we need G GPU for that. So now let me show you how to set up your environment on local machine and then how to test this. Okay. So for that, just click on I'm clicking here so I have shared this Jupyter notebook in my description section you can try this guys I have also shared the notebook which is provided by Desi you can try that as well okay so I have created a separate environment where my Python version is this 3.9.10 and then I have activated the environment and after activating the environment I have installed these modules okay so guys to run this Desi diffusion model you need only these modules okay so once we done that we are importing all the required modules and here in this cell we are loading the pre-trained Desi diffusion model version 1.0 so so when you execute it first time, it will take some time because it will uh, it will load all the uh, files and the model. Okay. So once you have the model, 
After that, we are just loading a custom unit from the DC diffusion repo and this is how you do that. So we have created a pipeline and that pipeline is stored in this variable. So we are going to use this pipeline when we want to generate the images from the text. We will use this pipeline. Okay. So here in this cell here. So we have a function in this function. There are two arguments required pipeline which pipeline the pipeline which we have created here will use that pipeline okay and the prompt means the input which we will provide to the model and here in this cell we are just um, storing the storing the image showing the image on the screen okay these kind of things are happening in it so we are calling the function and here guys you can see we are defining the pipeline also over here the pipeline name so what we are doing is when we are using this text to image uh, function, we are providing the pipeline. Which pipeline? The pipeline we have created here. Okay. And then we are giving a prompt. This is the second parameter to this function. So when we provided this, let's just execute it and let's see. So you can see it took 2.21 seconds to generate this image. And let's try it on another uh, prompt. So this time my prompt is this. When I'll execute it, you will see the output. It took this much time to generate this image. So now the next prompt is this. For this prompt, we got this image. So you can see we have this image. So guys, this is how you can try different prompts and you can see the output. Okay. So guys, now I will show you the comparison of stable diffusion and the DC diffusion model. Okay. We'll see the images generated by, we'll provide the same prompt to DC diffusion model and same prompt will provide to the stable diffusion model and we'll see how much time the both models are taking and what kind of images we are getting. Okay. So they see the fusion I have shown you. Okay. Let's just say for this, for this view. Okay. Let's just say we have this prompt. Now over here, I am running over here. I'm running stable diffusion model. Okay, guys, I am sharing this link also in my uh, description section. You can try this also. So you can see the prompt is same. Here also we have the same prompt and in stable diffusion also I'm using the same prompt and let's just run it. And you can see we are getting this image and the time is this 4.65 seconds. On the other hand, Desi diffusion took 1.95 seconds to generate this image and stable diffusion took 4.65 seconds to generate this image. Okay, so this is how let me show you a few more examples. So let me show you those examples. Here you can see for this prompt, the first image is generated by the Desi diffusion and the second image is generated by stable diffusion and you can see the time difference. Desi diffusion is doing it in 3.25 seconds and stable diffusion took 5.80 seconds. And here is the another example for this prompt. You can again see the time difference and the image quality. Now the third image is this. This I have also shared in my Jupyter notebook also. You can see the difference here as well. And then this also here also you can see the time difference. And then we have this image. If you compare the time, here you can see they see diffusion is doing it in 3.34 seconds and this stable diffusion is doing it in 5.72 seconds. So guys, uh, we can say from these examples, you have seen that the quality of image of DC diffusion and the stable diffusion is almost same, but the time difference is, you know, time difference is huge. DC diffusion is doing it much faster as compared to a stable diffusion. So yeah, that's it guys. I hope you like this video guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching